What's up, guys? Titan Talk Tuesday. Welcome to a new year. So we are finally in 2021. So I'm waiting for everybody to get on here. What's up, Alberta? What's going on? How you doing, Akron? Westfield, what's going on? Jamal, what's up, dude? How you doing, CJN? What's going on? How you guys doing? Life of Daniela. Hi, how you doing? Bubba Kaki or Bubba Kiki? Bubba Kiki? Uh, sorry, guys. Some of these big red. What's going on? Diego, Eduardo, what's going on? So we are officially in 2021. So welcome to a new year. Hopefully, you guys, this new year has started off good. What's going on? How you doing, Paul? I hope everything is good. Keep the tight. What's going on, man? How you guys doing? Jennifer, what's up? How you doing? Roman, what's up? So it is 2021. So hopefully you guys celebrated somehow, whether it was in your house or you had a function, uh, you know, following guidelines or whatever you're at. I want to make sure you guys are staying safe. Got to do that, right? So uh, it was a good 2021 here. What did we do? We sponsored an event here in Tampa. It was outside. We were uh, on a stage away from everybody, trying to social distance, doing our thing like that. Got to do it. Even though we're open here in Florida, we got to follow some sort of guidelines. Even though me and Sharice and, and some of the people on that stage already had COVID. So at that point, we've already been there and done that. So I don't know if you guys have experienced COVID for yourselves. You know, I have. What's up, Dave? How you doing, man? Happy New Year, bro. What's up, Gus? How you doing? And Valor Crocter, how you doing, man? So even good. So even look awesome. Yeah, so it was good. So Hulk Squad, what's up, brother? Um, so if you guys didn't see any of the social media, we posted, I think, a video of uh, the overall of it. Uh, but it was it was a good time, for sure. Definitely brought in right. Weather was beautiful here. Uh, Gus, Bitcoin, I told you about that Bitcoin, right? It, it's exploding. Couldn't believe it from my own eyes. I mean, that's just crazy. But, you know, uh, you know, it was a good 2021. You know, brought in with some of the Titan family. Um, obviously the wife and everything. It was just, it was a good time. We heard really good music, got to bring it in a good way. Like I said, good weather. So we're blessed here in Florida. Thank goodness for that. And it was really, really cool. So blessed for 2021. Hope you guys, I'm sending many blessings out to you guys. So, uh, yeah, um, 2021 starting off with a bang and you know what January is, right? So January is, you know, everybody gets in this you know, they're in the, I want weight loss, I want to be more healthier, and, and they need to right now, especially in the times that we're in right now. You know, just depending on where you guys are at in the United States, you know, on lockdowns and stuff like that, how so much activity you guys could actually go to. Some states don't have gyms open still, or, or I don't know actually what's going on. I mean, I can just tell you what's going on here in Florida. So if you guys are being active and want to get on weight loss, we have our therapy of the week, and this actually is a therapy package with a discount. I'm going to do these discounts for you guys. Blood work right now is on special. So if you guys want to get full panels, right now is your time. Male is 130, right? Females is 200. There's more tests on there. That's why. Uh, but, you know, that's to start with some, some things. You know, if you think your blood work's all right and you want to get started with weight loss in other ways, there's some different therapies. And like I said, the package we're offering right now. And that's the new year, new year, new year, new you. Tighten up therapy package. Uh, new Titan, right? And soon we're going to have the evolution uh, challenge coming up here soon for you guys. But this is the first one. So this therapy package combines Titan up and our ECA stack. Plus, what's up, Crazy Freak, Noel, Lou Troy, Jeff, Big Boy. How you guys doing? Happy New Year. So this therapy package includes two different therapies. One is our Titan up vitamin amino acid blend therapy. Um, it's an injectable therapy. It's great for weight loss, great for energy, helps you process fats through the liver faster, um, will help with definitely a lot of different functions like nervous system and boosting metabolism naturally. So it will help with energy and weight loss, right? And that's kind of what we're gearing it towards. That's an injectable you can take in the morning. There's no stimulants in that injectable, but there's all these good things in there like B-complex, MIC, right? We're talking about L-carnitine, one branch chain amino acid, leucine's in there. So you're gonna get a lot of bang for the buck with this injectable. Now the next thing you add on top of that is our ECA Stack Plus. And if you're able to get that therapy, um, these really, really work great together, okay? Um, so you have your boost of vitamins and your amino acid in there, and then you have your ECA Stack Plus, which is ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. And it doesn't matter if you get low dose or high dose, I, I made sure the package uh, was discounted either way. But at that point, you'll have, you know, the energy factor. So caffeine and ephedrine are great for energy, focus, and weight loss, right? And then you have 
aspirin in there. So aspirin, and you can take this out if you're allergic to aspirin. Um, but basically helps thin the blood out a little bit, make sure there's no heart palpitations, uh, and there's more B12 in there, methyl B12 and chromium. So these things add um, to the stimulant portion of the ECA Stack Plus to help you guys get those better results uh, and actually helping you boost your metabolism even more. So these things are great for weight loss, great for energy, great for focus, and these will really give you the jump start on the new year to really get to the new you, right? Uh, a more healthier you per se, right? A more physically uh, appearance, you know. At that point, you you want to you know you want a better appearance. We all do. We all want to work on different areas, and everybody wants to lean up a little bit. Now, there's a lot of people out there that want to gain lean muscle mass, and these will help with that too. Well, it will help you be better, right? It's quality over quantity, and you know some people they just want to gain all this weight, and that's really not the way to go. You want to gain quality lean mass. Now, to do this, you might have to increase calorie count, right? And that's fine. But you want to make sure your food, your portions are correct and your food sources are great, okay? And what I mean by that is no garbage food. Don't be eating McDonald's or Burger King and think you're going to make great lean gains. You might make gains as far as weight, but you won't be making these lean gains that you really want. Unless you have a super fast metabolism and you're exercising all day. I do know some athletes that can do that. You know, Drew's one of them. Ark can eat some too. I mean, there's some people behind here. So, you know, I, I definitely met, you know, professional athletes that have done that too. So they might not have the best diet, but have a great looking physique, you know, but some of us are not genetically blessed like that. And they have some of these genetics going against us. Um, and at and, and that point, you want to make sure that you can optimize your body. And that's really the best way. And really you are what you eat. So you want to make sure, uh, you know, if you look good and you're eating these things right now, just think how good you look if you start really getting your food source correct. You're going to look even better, I promise. I promise you, it's like running a, a sports car, you know, a supercar on 87 instead of 93. That thing is going to run a little bit more. It's going to run good still, right? But it's going to run more poorly than it would on, uh, you know, 93 uh, octane. That's your gas octane that's in there. So uh, for you guys don't know. So at that point, it's really one of the best therapy packages that we're offering right away um, with this. Like I said, tighten up your injectable vitamin amino acid blend therapy, right? One of our first and our ECA stack plus combined. You'll get $30 discount right off the top for that. So you guys will get a discount on that. Plus blood work. So blood work, if you and you don't need blood work for the ECA stack plus or the tighten up therapy. So for the new year, new you, new Titan therapy package, you do not need blood work. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork. You can do that online. You can fill it out, whatever, however you want to do it. And then at that point, you'll have your medical consultation. Your medical consultation will be with the medical provider. They'll go over your new patient paperwork, family history, health history, go over these different therapies with you. And if you want, maybe some other different therapies that we offer. Um, you might be interested in. You, you, know, you know, all you have to do is tell us what your goals are, what you're really trying to achieve, and we will help you there. We will get you there. Okay, so that's the only things you need to do. Fill out the new patient paperwork, see the medical provider, order your new therapies. They get shipped right from the pharmacy direct to you guys. All right. But blood work, that's another big one. So blood work is another thing that people really want to check. Or people are already very active. They have a great nutritional plan. They're sleeping, but they're hitting plateaus. They're not really getting the results that they think they should be getting. And this discourages a lot of people out there. So at that point, it's always a, like, hey, listen, you might want to look at your blood work. It could be a hormone like testosterone being off. Um, you know, it could be a thyroid issue. There could be IGF-1 issue. There could be a lot of different issues that you might be dealing with. And you might not really feel it per se, but it could be affecting where you're trying to go and what the results you're trying to get. So that's really where blood work. Plus looking at livers and kidneys, blood cell count, your cholesterol levels, and all these different tests that we do, it will help you get a clearer picture of what's going on inside. Maybe some other things need to be optimized, like liver. So if you have a fatty liver per se, or you have a liver not working at its optimal level, it's not processing the things like it really should, okay? And, and you can really, optimize the liver functions so it really helps you in the long run with the results plus you don't want those liver functions getting high and staying high right you're doing damage so at that point um, it could affect uh, your health in a lot of different ways blood work for males is 130 females is 200 um, so at that point you're getting a discount all the way through guys both of you guys okay all right so let me answer some of these questions because i seen some questions on here so i didn't want to get out it so all right, is the ephedra real? Yes, so it's real ephedrine, uh, HCL. It's not a substitute, it's not ephedrine extract or anything else. And 
you know, somebody said before, like, is, is it real if Vedran banned? Well, yes, of course, it, it was banned. Um, but this is prescribed by a medical provider, by a physician. So at that point, this is coming from a U.S. licensed pharmacy, just like anything else, and you cannot get it without a prescription, okay? So that is what it is. But it's very, very effective, especially with energy in the day. I take one in the morning, and literally I'm going all day. I don't take any crazy, I don't take any pre-workouts. I don't take any supplements orally. Uh, it's just pretty much injectable or whatever I'm taking Titan-wise. And I pretty much get everything I need to. I try to get all my protein from food. You know, for some people, it's really hard to do that. And me, for me, it's it's been very hard to do that, especially lately being so busy. Um, you know, I'll just substitute some protein shakes and stuff like that. Um, which I get from like a, a like you know like a 7-Eleven or possibly even the gym that might make me one there. Um, so I guess I, that that is a supplement that I might be taking in you know uh, here or there, not a lot for sure. Um, but that's how it goes. When I'm coming hard this round. Let's just say I might. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's answer one of these questions. So a hey, boss man, what's in nectar of the gods? And Hulk, not yet. So, all right. So nectar of the gods. So nectar of the gods is a really good vitamin amino acid therapy. Now. The difference with Nectar of the Gods is Nectar of the Gods actually has glutathione in it, okay? So it has glutamine, it has arginine, it has glutathione, it has NAC, it has lysine, it has proline, it has taurine, it has NAC, and L-carnitine. So with this, you know, we substituted out L-citrulline, okay, and ornithine from Hercules Potion, and then we put in glutathione uh, in there to substitute it out. So it gives you a daily liver support, right, along with the NAC that's in there, so it's combined um, for immune functions. The glutathione, the lysine, and the NAC in there will help immune functions, um, it'll help immune support. So that's really the difference uh, with Nectar of the Gods. And that one has to be cold. So you will have to refrigerate that because of the glutathione in it. And it's for a daily use. You can use it daily, you can use it in the morning. Um, and we'll sell with, with, with some blood flow with the arginine too as well, just not as much with because it doesn't have the citrine like Hercules. But, you know, like I said, it's a different injectable altogether as far as it's really for to get those other benefits like recovery, some blood flow, but for immune function too, for daily like glutathione. Um, now, the difference between a straight glutathione that we'd get from us and this glutathione that's in it is there's a little bit less in Nectar of the Gods because it's, a, you know, it's a full, in, you know, injectable as far as other ingredients. So it has 60 milligrams in there. With straight glutathione, it's 200 milligrams per ml. So difference is this. If you're taking it for immune function, immune support, and stuff like that, you can still take the glutathione, glutathione, glutathione straight, but it's not going to have these different components in it, which will help along with the glutathione. And if you're having liver issues, right, you're having real, real high liver functions um, or having something very, very serious like colds and stuff like that, straight glutathione would definitely be the way to go. So that's the difference in what you'd be using there, okay? All right, it's tremendous because I'm eating more. All right, so Nectar of the Gods. My best, Bill Ron. No problem. What up, Dan? How you doing, Victor? Trade to win. How you doing? All right. So what's your opinion on the COVID vaccine? Ooh, that's a good one, Life of Tara Daniela. All right, so COVID vaccine. I don't know what to say, guys. There's multiple COVID vaccines out there from multiple companies. You know, right now, uh, FDA cleared uh, Pfizer's and they cleared Moderna's. Uh, they'll probably clear another one here soon from Johnson & Johnson. So what do I think about them? Listen, I've already had COVID, so I've already been there and done that. Do I think I need the vaccine? Uh, do I think I really want to take the vaccine this early? No. Um, but, you know, uh, people out there that want this vaccine or are very scared of COVID or are very high risk, it's probably the best way for them, you know, as far as that goes. So if people want it, hey, take the vaccine. It should be really a choice for right now, especially if people have already caught COVID or have the antibodies. You know, and my antibodies are gone. You know, Sharice still has hers. I got to check this month to make sure they're still there. But at that point, it should be really a, a choice to everybody. I, I, you know, they have to have some sort of studies on it, but they don't have anybody's studies on it. Then people have already uh, caught COVID or the antibodies or, you know, so there's some different things that I think they still need on turn for some different people. But here's the thing. It should go to healthcare workers, um, you know, first responders, long-term facilities first, like they're supposed to be. And then at that point, the 65 year and older, those patients that want it should get it. Here in Florida, 
Um, my mom is one of those people. My dad is one of those people in high risk. Has not left the house for, uh, you know, I mean, very, very rare. It, you know, maybe to pick up Peter and, and that's it from school. But at that point, like, he stays in the house. Like, he don't go out. He won't go with me to no games. He doesn't want to be around people. I understand why. But, but he should probably get it then, right? So he can go out and do some of these different things and have functional life. Uh, you know, instead of just sitting in the house, it's bad. It's depressing. It, you know, people don't really get active. You know, they're not getting social interaction. You know, at that point, that could be you know bad. You know, so there's a lot of negative things too. So I think, you know, those people need to get the vaccine if they if they want it, especially. Um, they're having to wait out in these lines here in Florida and probably in the other states. I don't know how your state is or where you guys are located. Um, but it's really bad. They haven't sent out there for like hours. The, the the lines, and that's one of the topics I was going to talk about today, was uh, the COVID vaccine here in Florida because you know the the distribution of the vaccines and how bad it's been. Um, and they just opened up this line, you know, the lines from the health departments to get these appointments set. Um, and it was like 2,000 calls per minute midday were coming in. Okay, so 2,000 calls a minute, a minute, right? So think about 30 minutes or 60 minutes, right? We're talking about 120,000 calls coming in 60 minutes, 120,000. That is a ridiculous number of phone calls. Um, and they can't get them. So all the lines went down. The, sur the, the online portion went down. Think about that, Florida. Our online systems always break. Um, but it, it's bad. It's bad for our seniors out there and stuff like that. And my mom's one of them. Uh, my other one is gra my grandmother who lives with her. They've been on strict quarantine. She's 89 years old, high risk. Um, so at that point, they haven't sit in their cars, which can't be good, or they're sitting in lawn chairs. You guys should see it. It's ridiculous. But, you know, it, it, listen, it, by the time that it gets to all those people, I think that they'll have some sort of, they'll work all the bugs out, per se, in this vaccine. So if there is any, we're going to know about them. But what I've read about the vaccine is you can get the side effects, just like, and I haven't got the flu shots. I've never got that or anything like that because of some of the side effects, you know, right? So at that point, I don't want any of those negative side effects. I don't want to have to roll the dice uh, if I don't have to. So unless they make me do it, and I don't know how they're going to do that, but if they make me do it, I might, right? Liver support is key. That's correct. Take tight therapies and you won't need a vaccine. That's true, too. I, well, I won't say that. I, I'll get in trouble saying that. I don't want to say that. But listen, the whole point is this, and this is pretty crazy, right? So everybody in my household caught COVID. Me, Sharice, my son. My only person that didn't catch it was my dad, right? Could have been a fluke because we got all got out of there as soon as possible. But my son was there a little bit longer than us, and we were around him. The next thing is this. One of my friends comes in from the U.K. He's in Miami. He parties for like two weeks. Goes out, does not catch COVID. He's not wearing a mask like he probably should be. His girlfriend comes over from the U.K. And here in two days, she catches COVID. Now, here's the thing. They both quarantined together. He's never had COVID and never had the antibodies. Slept with her, hung out with her, kissed her. This is all during COVID. Thought he was going to catch it. So he's just like, you know what? Forget about it. I'm going to catch it anyway. Hasn't caught it. I know a couple of people in these situations. So I don't know if some people are just maybe immune uh, or, or what the deal is, but it's it's crazy. What up, 365 Muscle Fit? How you doing, man? So, yeah, but it, the whole point is to, to, to boost your immune function, right? What up, Antonio? So, uh, boost the immune function. Make sure you guys are like giving yourself the proper things so your body doesn't break down uh, your immune immune system too. You don't want to break it down because it's easier, or you become more susceptible to catching different things, and not just COVID. So, there's other bacteria out there and viruses that you can catch that we were catching before COVID. You know, think about it. You go to a movie theater, you probably sit down, and you probably hear like 10 or 11 people coughing in the movie theater. Like, man, there's people sick in here, and not even blink an eye about it. Now, if you go in the movie theater and there's like maybe two people in there or three people in there and I've been, so I know, there, there's like one person that sees their coughs and like you can feel just like every like the two or the other three people in there just looking at the person like, what are you doing here? So uh, it, it's just really, really nuts. Um, you know, even, uh, I don't know, it, it's crazy. So hopefully we're getting over this soon. What up, Chris? How you doing? Dave Petty, what's going on? All right, Strength Addicts in the house. We have a new member for the Titan family. Said they, uh, oh, do we? Remember. Definitely give us a call. Done and done. Obviously, after that, I got you. All right, call or text. Man, I'm getting through these. Sorry, guys. What <laughs> up, Ann Vanya? How you doing? And I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I have a COVID RN. I'm not getting a vaccine. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I, I know. I know. Listen, this was a crazy, crazy uh, statistic, too. It was like over 50, 
50 percent of health care workers had denied getting the vaccine across the country big states new york um tennessee was one of them there, there's a couple different states where these healthcare workers do not want this vaccine and i can kind of see it from their angle too let me let me tell you why They've already been through this for how many months? Eight months, nine months? They've been in the hospital. They've been by sick people. They've been through this pandemic the whole time. They haven't had a vaccine. They haven't caught it. Or maybe they have. And at that point, they're through and over it. Why are they going to want to get a vaccine? I, I can definitely see it from that point. Now, if they can catch it again, I don't know. So they should be testing for antibodies at that point and seeing and, and definitely running some, um, some clinical trials and all these different things and find out this information, which I'm sure they are. All right, so what up, Art, if that's you in the background? <laughs> yeah. Chris, going to try and call him tomorrow. All right, cool, it's genetic. All right, so we had COVID twice. First time I was sick for a month. For the second time I had a headache. So it got, it got better for you. So, so Josh, you actually tested positive twice for COVID. And, and different, different, you know, how, how long in between did this happen? Um, you know, and... and, and I guess, you know, did you ever test for antibodies at that point or anything like that? Please let me know. This is really, really interesting stuff. All right. All right. So thank you. Okay. Answer. I take a uh, dilopiprin. Can I still take the ECA? Dilopiprin. I'll have to look up the medication. I'll check with the medical provider. I always have to check with the medical provider before I say anything on here. As far as your medications. Plus health history. That's another thing with ECAs. We've got to make sure cardiovascular health history, SSRIs, there's some different things. So if you are interested in the ECA, please give us a call or text, and we'll be happy to give you the answer, okay? I'm doing good. I have a ton of immune deficiencies and not getting vaccinated. So 365 said he has a ton of immune deficiencies and not getting vaccinated. You know, just that's how people are, man. Chris, thank you for representing. Oh, Zocan, what's going on? So 365 here in Arizona, wow. So how is that? New Mexico, yeah, I know big Irishmen's out there. John, if I swing the other way, you'd be my boo thing. <laughs> I appreciate that. So so girl wants a bunch of extra tests done in her blood work. What do you guys do by extra cost? I told her uh, they're necessary, but she read it. Okay. All right, so Hulk Squad. So no problem. So here's the answer, guys. If you guys want more than our health panel, all right, our full panel, it's not an issue. Uh, we run a variety of different tests, okay? So we can run different tests. It's not a problem. And the, the other tests are, are, are pretty affordable as far as that goes. So to give you an example, somebody wants a vitamin D test, right? Vitamin D we can add, add on. It's like another 25 to 30 bucks. Um, just depends on what lab you go to. Quest, they charge more. So at that point, it would be that. Um, so it's usually 30 bucks. SHBG, that's one that w people want to test, uh, you know, and that correlates with free testosterone. You can kind of see there. Um, prolactin levels, right? Cortisol levels. I mean, we can, I mean, I'm just giving some examples out. We can run a ton though. Even all your vitamins, and amino acids. So, you know, you can run, you know, vitamin C if you really wanted to, you could run all your amino acid panels. So non-essential, essential amino acids. That's a really cool one. Cause if you're not taking our injectables, right? And you're taking an over the counter supplement, you want to see if that thing is really working and you can see it. You can see how much as far as the levels of where it's at um, with ours. I can guarantee you they're going to be up and optimal for sure because I've tested mine on there and a couple other people. So it's really, really cool. Glutathione levels you can test. I mean, wide variety, okay? So just call up, um, and when she wants to order the panel, say, listen, I want the full female panel, and I'd like to add on test A, test B, and test C. And they'll give, it, uh, they'll give you the price for it and everything like that, so it shouldn't be an issue. And it shouldn't be too bad either, all right? I felt bad for two days with it. Other than that, I'm fine. My mom, though, sick nine days. Okay, now we are in Ireland. Wow. So... Keith's in Ireland. So when I caught it, I was totally asymptomatic. Sharice had to go to the ICU. So two, two totally different results or, or, or you know, predicaments of what happened. It's really crazy how this virus affects people in different ways. And it's got to be genetics. This thing had to be man-made, I, I, in my opinion. You know, just the way it's affecting people. It's just, it's really, really nuts. All right. Whole family did first time. We got sick was early into second time. was a month ago. Wow. So that's crazy, Josh. So I, I, I hope... I hope the best for your family, and, and please be healthy. Yep, so definitely test for the antibodies, too. All right, yeah. <laughs> so Art's in the back. Oh, fetrometrazine. All right, perfect. So fetrometrazine. So you're not going to want to take ECAs with fetrometrazine. Um, now, the difference is this, and it's a lot a lot better. So fetrometrazine is an FDA-approved appetite suppressant, right? But over time, you build up a tolerance to fetrometrazine or phenermine. 
Um, and at that point, it really doesn't work that well. And it's not really made for weight loss, right? It's made for an appetite suppressant, so you don't eat as much. And the real reason it was made was so you could pick your portions a lot smaller. You could pick better food sources that kind of trains you to eat. You know, it helps the stomach, you know, to, to retain getting smaller as far as that goes and, and less. Now, the problem is, is like I said, over time, you build up a tolerance to this. Um, and it can affect nervous system over time, too, for taking it for a long, extended periods of time. That's why they usually run EKGs on this before you get it. Now, um, at that point, ECA Sec Plus, you can take for long periods of time. You can go up in doses here or there. Um, you're going to get a great effect. I think you're going to get, I honestly will think you get a better effect from a high dose ECA Sec Plus than fetrametrazine or fentramine. Um, and you'll be able to tolerate a lot well, too. So some people can't tolerate fentramine or fetrametrazine, um, or they need a lower dose and stuff like that because it's a stimulant to an extent. It's like a, a methamphetamine almost. Um, that's why it's a controlled substance. So that's really a good substitute for what you're taking, I think. If we got your own blood test done at our primary care doctor, yes, we can use those tests. As long as it's within 60 days and you have all the tests that we need, I'm not going to get any big, got, got bigger things to worry about like test levels. Dude, we got you. Yeah, test levels at 224 at 27 years old, bro. We got to fix that. We, you, you were in your prime, man, 20s. You know, and here's the thing. When you blood test, and male or female, it doesn't matter your age, whether you're 18 years old or 27 years old or four years old, those ranges are the exact same. And LabCorp's reference range is 264 to 916. So it, it, that's where you test it through. Is you're clinically deficient, man, and that's bad, right? So we want to definitely get you up to optimal ranges, 900, you know, 916, those high ranges of optimal levels healthy levels right but you feel a lot better things are starting to work like they should you know when you're at 27 years old you're in your 20s you know and and a lot of people won't take like clinics they won't take people underneath 30 years old and you know it's not an age thing it shouldn't be an age thing it should be does this patient need help and what do they need help in right but that's just a thing and it doesn't matter but for us 27 years old we're probably going to help those patients out when you're underneath 25 years old probably going to try to stimulate your own natural function and that's for your benefit because you know hormone replacement therapy is exactly like that it's replacing things or hormones that you don't have in your body right or optimizing these levels back to healthy optimal levels so at that point you're going to have to stick with it. You're going to have to be consistent. When you take testosterone replacement therapy, it's replacing that testosterone that you're missing. So when you take that away, it's not going to replace that testosterone that you're missing. So at that point, people ask me all the time, hey, is this a lifelong commitment or a lifelong thing? No, it's not. But to get or feel the way that you want to feel, you want to get back to all ranges, you want to replace this, then you're going to have to take testosterone or whatever that hormone or therapy is. Um, so that, I just give it to you guys straight and like, like it is. I, I don't want to mess around. I have to go visit my native heritage land. That's awesome. Oh, Northern Ireland. Wow, you're from Northern Ireland. I told her that my own doctor runs all the ones she wants by her insurance, so I told her to use her 200. There you go. There you go, Hawk Squad. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Trust me, life of Tara, Daniela, I promise you, you will not be making that little sad face. You will definitely be making a happy face. Another big therapy that we're, we're, uh, we have out um, that we've been you know testing with a couple different patients and stuff like that that we're rolling out is our Prometheus therapy. And that therapy is going to change the game, especially if you're taking vetrometrazine and stuff like that, um, as far as appetite suppressing, um, increasing you know your mood, mood enhancement, weight loss function. Um, it's going to help you know as far as with your diet, what you're eating and stuff like that, getting rid of sugars and lowering A1C levels. So it's going to be a really, really great therapy. I'm really excited for it. So that's another one, okay? I'm down south, pal. Republic of Ireland. Gotcha. I got it done in the spring. All right, so we're going to need to run some labs, Chris, if you got it done in the spring. All right, guys, there's another big giveaway, the Cardello Weight Loss Belt Giveaway, along with the $1,000 prize and services from Titan Medical Center. So me and Steve Cardello, right, we got together. Um, Steve reached out to me, a you know, great guy, and he was like, listen, John, you want to do a giveaway? 
I, I was honored, man. You know, Steve Cardell is a great dude, been around a long time, and has made a lot of belts for a lot of famous people. Um, you know, so at that point, I was really honored. I, you know, I was like, man, I was like, I was kind of taken back a little bit. I was like, man, this is really cool. I definitely want to do something with you, Steve. So he made a Hercules belt with like Hercules labors on there and stuff like that because we were talking about Hercules potion and stuff. So he made that belt. He's making Titan belts too. I'm really excited. He's making the samples. Um, but the belt giveaway will be for patients that are underneath 21 years old. Uh, you'll get that and get Titan gear if you can't get the therapies. But if you're over 21 or 21, you'll be able to get, you know, maybe the Hercules potion, injectable vitamin amino acids, glutathione, stuff like that. Or maybe a blood test. You can get it on there too as well. Um, and maybe the belt too. So it's going to be really, really cool. All right, back to hormones now. Oh, pellets or only injections? All right, so do not do pellets. All right, so let's talk about hormone replacement and the different ways that you can, I guess, take the medication, different transportation rates in the body. So when we're taking hormones, there's a couple of different ways you guys can take them. You can take them by cream, you can take them orally, you can take them by pellets, or you can take them by injectable. Now, most of the time, it just depends on what the hormone is. Let's talk about testosterone specifically, all right? Because that covers a lot of different bases for both males and females. And that's one of the biggest ones, I think, um, that people are low or deficient in that we see. So, the different rates. So, oral, a, a, lot of, a lot of girls, we have RDT, right? Or troches that they put in their mouth, sublingual. Um, they don't want to do injections or, you know, this is the best rate possible. So they use those. We have some girls on creams, right? Some guys take creams or oral because they don't want to do an injection either. Pellets. That is a no-go with Titan Medical Center. And let me tell you why. We've corrected a lot of patients coming off of pellets. And it's caused a lot of issues for the patients. Now, let me talk about one specific issue. And the reason we don't do pellets, just to start it off, is because when you go on pellets... And if you've been on Pellets Life with Tara Daniela, you know what I'm talking about. When you go in, they insert you with pellets. And at that point, you've got these pellets in you. Now, they're going to absorb, right? Different people absorb or metabolize things at different rates. So what happens is, is it's metabolized and starts to break down the body. So what happens is, is, let's just talk about testosterone. It skyrockets you. So guy and girl, you're skyrocketed up to this high level. And at that point, you're coming down, 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 down. Now, for a woman specifically, you don't want to have too high levels because it's a masculine hormone. And this masculine hormone can help you discover masculine traits that might pop out. More facial hair, more body hair, right? Clitoral enlargement, deepening of the voice. These are things that masculine hormones produce as a trait in the body, okay? That's, testosterone is a masculine hormone. Women and males both need it, just at different ranges. So you're skyrocketed up, and I've seen women at 300, 400, 500, 500, and guys, 500 is, is a decent number, like that's midway. So for a guy, that's midway. For a girl, this is extreme overdosing. So they're at that point, and they keep going down, down. Now you feel great, your libido, you got some energy, of course, <laughs> you're, you're skyrocketing. You should feel like Superman or Superwoman. And at that point, you're going down, 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 down. They have to wait for the pellet to get reinserted to go skyrocketing back up. So what's happening is this. You're going on a roller coaster ride up and down, up and down, up and down. So it's really not a good way or transportation rate, I think, for hormones. And that's what we believe here at Tight Medical Center. We're our medical providers too as well. And we've had to correct a lot of different things. And usually the first thing that starts happening is weight gain. And the girls, the girls are like, well, I don't know. I'm, I just started testosterone and hormone replacement therapy, and I'm getting all this weight gain. So that's one contributor to that. It could raise estrogen levels too because it still converts guys or girls. We're going to convert these different hormones to other ones. So at that point, you could be in that boat. The next thing is DHT. Skyrocketing testosterone and conversion can also lead to high DHT levels. And the next problem is, is usually you're going to have acne, and the next thing after that is possible hair loss. So, and girls don't like losing their hair. They don't like gaining weight and they don't like acne. So, you know, I say this because we have males and female uh, patients and usually females right away, if they see something wrong like that, they will call or text us and they'll be like, this is going on. Guys, we're like, oh, you know, we got some acne, you know, whatever, you know, and then if it stays for a long time, then we really look into it. So girls are a little bit more 
feisty when it comes to having problems with themselves, and that's totally fine. We want to make sure that you guys have minimal to no side effects, and you guys are getting all the benefits. So that's my take on uh, pellets and different transportation rates. Injection is probably your best way for testosterone. Now, we do offer that for women, too, as well. Um, for guys, obviously, that's probably the best way. Um, and the way that we do our protocol, you're not going to be doing up and down. You're going to stay up even keel and keep rocking and rolling. And that's why we get our patients the best results, healthy results, because they're not on a roller coaster ride going up and down. I'm taking, I'm talking to your people. I felt like crap. I was 18. They told me I had depression, gave me packs. So that's a common thing, Josh. I'm really sorry, dude. Um, so usually, you know, people go in, you know, and guys especially, they'll go in and they'll go see these medical providers. Um, these medical providers don't want to run testosterone tests or hormones, but you're too young. You know, at that point, you know, the patient might say, hey, listen, doc, you know, I've just been unmotivated. I feel like, you know, I'm kind of in a dark place. You know, I'm having ED issues and stuff like that. They give them Paxil, ED medication, send them on their way. I see it all the time, happens all the time, and that's really not the way they should be treating patients. All right, they should be finding out what's the root of the problem, fix the root of the problem, and then if we fix the root of the problem, hey, if you're still having these issues, then we can we can look at correcting more of these issues down the road or something else is going on. But they should definitely get down to the root, and that's, that's the issue. They just want to cover these things up with a Band-Aid, these bleeding wounds, and go on their way, all right, you know? And it's not right. You need y'all in Charlotte. So we are in Charlotte uh, as far as we service nationwide, guys. So if you guys are in a different state and you still want to use Type Medical Center, you guys can use us for all our different services or therapies, whether it's hormone replacement therapy, blood work, um, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, healing peptides, right? Um, weight loss peptides, ED medications, and we have some really cool ones, not just regular Cialis or Viagra, so Denafil or Tadalafil. Not that's just not that stuff. We have a whole bunch of different combinations, um, guys and girls. So you guys can be a rock star superhero in the bedroom, okay? So if you guys want to know about any of those, you guys can, all you have to do is call or text us at 727-389-3220. Big Irishman, I know you want that belt, dude, right? I seen you. All you guys got to do is go on the post, and it's on our page, uh, the Cardello weight law or weight belt giveaway with the type medical center giveaway um and just comment on there and it'll have all the instructions and i know big irishman has definitely done that so hopefully you win bro any plans to supply europe so i'm trying to it's just europe's a little bit different especially right now because of covid uh, it's just been a big issue with everything so i'm gonna as soon as we get this covid thing under locks oh, if it ever happens you know, then uh, we're definitely going to be looking at different things out there, um, especially the UK and stuff like that. I've got some people out there and, uh, you know, we're playing some big things, guys. So get ready. All right. Oh, can you imagine if Wolverine had to wait for Pellis? I know, dude, it would suck. <laughs> All right. Hulk, oh, man, Titan Talk is very... Thank you. I appreciate that. No testosterone, just 80 milligrams of estradiol on a pellet, which is supposedly customized to every 90 days. So the same thing happens with that pellet of estradiol. I don't care what hormone it is. Um, it's going to shoot up and it's going to start decreasing. You might not want it to shoot up. So if you're having problems, if, if there's... If, if you're still having symptoms on the estradiol, and then what were your free and total ranges of testosterone? Were those okay? Were those good? You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of different things that you know um, that we need to unturn there with blood work. So I really, we really like to help you out. So at that point, um, let us take a look at it, and we'll definitely help you. Okay, what's the cost of TRT, boss injectable? All right, so TRT, HRT. So when you go on hormone replacement therapy with us, so if you're a guy and it's testosterone. You're going to get three different medications, testosterone, an anti-estrogen, HCG, or, or gornadal support. Um, you're going to get syringes, your medical review fees in there, and shipping. So it's a package, therapy package, right? And that package can go from 225 and if you're out of state, to 375 It includes all those different things. It just depends on dosage and way the medication is supposed to be taken and all that good stuff. So it really depends on the person. There's no cookie cutter programs. People get different dosages. So I've had some patients, no other patients, like, why is he getting this dose and me getting this dose? It's, it's because of, it's personalized. You know, what went on in your consultation, how your blood work, blood work went. What's in your new patient paperwork as far as family history, health history? You know, all these things are taken in consideration. We don't just treat numbers. We treat patients. So at that point, that's what it is. And, you know, in a lot of these places, you know, they have cookie cutter things, and it's just this, this, and this, and that's it. There's no, like, personalization to you guys, customization to what you guys really need. 
So, um, and Eschenau, I would definitely look into maybe a cream too, Life of Daniel. That, that might be a little bit easier for you or possibly a pill. I mean, uh, a pellet, I just, I think it's overkill. Hopefully, I hope you open a location. So, weeds to weights. So, we service nationwide. We can definitely help you out in Pensacola, it's especially our home state of Florida. Um, so, dude, just give us a call or text 727-389-3220. Cap's wife, how you doing? Happy New Year. I hope everything's well with you too as well. So, with that, you know, I was just talking about the Prometheus therapy. I'm talking about, you know, I want to roll it out here in a couple of weeks for everybody as far as a therapy of the week. Um, so, I want to make sure that I'm checking up on you or we're checking up on you, making sure you guys are on your way and progressing to your goals. All right, guys. We talked about therapy of the week. I think we should talk about some of the different things because uh, we just talk about different therapies. And I love doing it. So I would talk about that all day. If you guys have any other questions about therapies or any other things, throw it out there. Um, if you guys want to see a medical provider on one of these Titan Talks, let me know. I'll throw on one of our nurse practitioners or somebody like that. You guys can ask direct questions of medical providers. That's what we do. We have them here the whole time. Uh, we have two medical providers full time here, two doctors on staff too as well. So. When you see that, you know it's a good thing. All right, I'm turned 40 years, 45, New York deadlift record. Wow, that's awesome, Hawk Squad, for sure, dude. Keep it up. Hawk Smash, yeah. All right, so let's get into some of these different topics of the day today. I, I think they're pretty good. I think you guys will like them. Let's talk about some of the different things going on. All right, so the first one, Kumala Nanjani was body shamed for being too muscular on Twitter. All right, so I have no idea who this guy was. Um, it was a Men Health article that I pulled uh, today, and it was kind of cool. And the reason I read it was because this guy's starring in the Internals movie. That's a Marvel movie about some Marvel characters that I know in comics. So when you guys see it out, you'll know what I'm talking about. So Kumala basically took a picture on Christmas, and it was him and his girl. And it like this guy is not like like Drew or, you know, like Hulk Smash or Big Irish. He's not like these big guys, right? He, he's probably not even my size. Uh, and I'm not the biggest guy. So at that point, they're, they're body shaming this guy. And and what he did was, was when he got the part of the Eternals, they didn't even tell him he had to bulk up or change his physique. But they did pay for the best trainers and the best nutritionists. Now, when you look at the picture of this guy, if you guys see him, he's not big. Like, He's not big, so all these people are, are, are commenting on him, you know, saying he had to take steroids to get to where he's at. He wouldn't look this way without steroids. Now, the guy changed his physique, but listen to me. If you have a great nutritionist and you have great trainers, you have the best of the best, and you follow what they're doing, it's a little bit easier to get a transformation because you have 24-7, right? You probably have private chefs and all this. It's harder for somebody that has to do it on their own that doesn't know some of these different things as much of a nutritionist knows or a personal trainer. You know, if you're a personal trainer by trade, you know some good things and you could probably do it yourself because nutrition goes right along with it. But at that point, you know, there's giving this guy crap, you know, uh, saying he's on steroids. And if you see this guy's pictures, he doesn't look like he's on steroids. Like, he, he just really doesn't. Now, could he be doing HRT or something like that? Possibly. You know, but hey, listen, he might need it. Who knows? Uh, but I don't think, you know, he should be getting the flack that he is getting. And the article talked about a little bit how, you know, different people went through different transformations. I mean, one that one that gets praised a lot right now is Chris Hensworth, right? He's doing a Hulk Hogan movie, and he had to put so much weight on. I mean, he looks great. Like, just, he looks jacked, you know. But is he probably doing some HRT and some other things? You know, who knows? I think so, and personally, but I wouldn't put that out there. I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is, and it's their business, um, and it's their body, and it's for their work, I guess, you know. Um, you know, different actors, you know, have definitely went through some transformations where they've definitely used some anabolics or PEDs. Um, you know, Chris Pratt was another one they threw up there. He went through a dramatic transformation, I mean, from where he was at to where he is now. So there's a lot of different things out here that you might see, but it, it's, uh, it's hypocritical. I don't think people should be calling him out for that. Uh, especially because he doesn't look like he's like, like just, and it's not juiced out, like his face isn't juiced out or anything like that. So, you know, give the guy a break if you guys are harassing him out there, but I don't think any of my people are harassing him. I think you guys would go right along with people should not be harassing or body shaming. And this was another thing that we should have brought up in the beginning was the picture that I see in Cosmet Cosmopolitan. So you guys on Instagram will see this when the full video is up. You guys on Facebook right now are going to see it. So 
it basically has a 300 pound woman on there and it says this is what healthy looks like and it says that basically you know wellness uh, isn't cookie cutter for every woman now we're not body shaming this but we're gonna body shame somebody that you know leans up and puts on a little lean mass right it's more healthier and this is not what healthy looks like i don't care if this you know if, if what they're trying to do the agenda is trying to make you know obese or unhealthy people like what's really good i'm not i'm not with that so at that point you know and, and not to say you know there aren't people like this we're talking about almost 50 percent of the population is obese overweight and has diabetes almost right so this is this is not healthy right this is what they should put this is not healthy okay and for us gratifying it and making it cool whoever's whoever's on this and doing this is is horrible i'm going to call that straight up you're horrible and if people are overweight god bless you hopefully you're making trying to make some changes and that's what it should be all about is going in the right direction so if you are overweight or obese obese i'm on your side i want you to get better though for sure because it's your health you're talking about and saying that this is okay is not okay as far as healthy wise it's okay if that's the way you want to look it's totally fine but it's not healthy so that that's where it comes down to so i'm not body shaming anybody at that point i want to help people motivate people to be healthier if that means losing a little bit of weight you know that's going to definitely help and i don't care what you say i know a lot of people have dropped a lot of weight and they've been really really obese or overweight and when they drop that weight they feel a hell of a lot better about themselves and confident i mean our amanda i mean dude there's tons of people out there i see it every day and when they do it they're so happy they feel like they've accomplished everything and they're healthier they can't do obstacle courses when they're I mean, dramatically overweight. Can you see a 300 or 400 pound dude doing obstacle courses? Hell no. I mean, hell no. 300 pound women run a marathon? I don't see it every day. Uh, if you do, then God bless, man. I want to see it, so send me the videos. But that's where it's at. It's not even about health. It's about just it's aesthetics. At this point. Aesthetics. And you want to be included, but this has nothing to do with health. Aesthetics. So it definitely should be like that. All right, so that's the first one. Next one. America's flee to Mexico. Everybody's going to Mexico. Everybody's in Tulum except for me. <laughs> that is the most shop place I've ever seen. All the Instagram models, all my friends, they've all been to Tulum, right? They've all been to the jungle gym. Yeah, Eva was just there. I posted on the page. I'm Mexican. I've never even been there. So, <laughs> Ari's never even been there. He's Mexican. So it, it's just crazy, right? It's like, you know, everybody's going to Mexico. So there's a lot of people that are either traveling to Mexico and vacationing or people that are actually moving there. Um, I don't know about moving there, to be honest with you. I wouldn't want to move there. Uh, maybe vacation there. Now, the, the reason people are going there um, specifically is because there's no there's no standard to testing. You don't have to test negative, right? There's nothing. There's no restrictions as far as that goes. And they're at the highest level. I read Mexico City is at red. That means that all essential businesses are supposed to close. Their tourism is up like you would not believe right now. So at that point, Mexico is booming. Tourism is booming. More airlines are flying. More people to Tulum, or not to Tulum, but because they ha they can't fly directly to Tulum, they're flying to Cabo San Lucas. They're flying to Mexico City, and they're coming in there and they're going to these places. So it's just crazy about all this different stuff out there. Uh, and I definitely want to go to this jungle gym. I mean, I, I'm 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 upset that I haven't got to go there, and all my friends have got to go to this damn jungle gym. You know, we we get to live not weights, but we lived in wood or whatever the hell's out there. Yeah, it's good. It's a good change of pace. 24-year-old Kirsten Jackson from Houston, resident, told the LA Times on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, I definitely prefer to be here with a mask on than in my home without one. Isn't that weird? Really weird. Like, why even go? It, it, it's really weird. It's really weird. So, guys, I've been, I've been to a lot of places in Mexico. Mexico's great, but... You guys, are, you guys going to the tourist spots, all yeah. good. You <laughs> yeah. guys going to real Mexico, it ain't going to be all good, I promise you. So, uh, you know, there's different parts that you don't want to go to, trust me. Um, but, hey, everybody's going, so hopefully I'll get to go there soon. I don't know about any time soon, but hopefully soon. All right, so if you guys are looking for a good place to go without restrictions, Mexico might be that spot for you. All right, next one. This one was really good, too. So this one will hit home on some people. Uh, so Cardi B does not let her two-year-old listen to WAP. Wet ass. Okay. So she doesn't let her two-year-old culture, with a K, watch it. And what happened was, was she was on Twitter or something like that. And she had a video and she was dancing to her song, 
right? And when her two-year-old was coming in, she turned off the TV. So some people were, were going after her and saying, oh, um, it's okay for your daughter not to listen to it, but for other people's daughters not to listen to it. So you're a hypocrite, basically. And, you know, she basically came back, and I was I was kind of like, wow, I was like, wow, Cardi B is actually, you know, you know, she's actually standing up for not listening to her own song to the two-year-old. So I give her props for that. But the other person has a point that other people are going to be listening to this song. And what she came back was pretty good, I guess. Because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that are thrown out there to our kids, right? And we don't have any control of. But there, we do have control of some, some things. So if you're a parent, you need to make sure that you're, you're putting these restrictions and you're not letting your child listen or watch these different things out there, whether it's graphic or whatever it is. You know, we need to get a hold on these different things. And with devices, you can put age restrictions on the devices. I learned that firsthand with Peter. So at that point, you can restrict them what they're listening to. And it's like PG, you know, and even PG, I was like, oh, man, PG is getting pretty good nowadays. Uh, I seen something the other day. I was like, wow, I can't believe this is PG. So at that point, you can put restrictions on there. But that's what she said, basically. And she said she's a very sexual person, um, but not around her child. And she made the example, some women are strippers, but they don't strip around their kids, right? And they don't, they don't say it's okay. That's a really good example. And I don't, I don't think Cardi B is a great example out there for a lot of people. But I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to be unbiased. So at that point, I thought that was a pretty good response from her. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Tampa COVID-19, I recovered this. We got our elderly people out here in lines and wheelchairs and folding chairs. They can catch COVID out there like that. I mean, you know, the whole point is to get these people in and out. So hopefully they will, and hopefully our people will get it. What's up, Sig Vic? How you doing, man? Nine minute warning. All right, nine minute warning. So we got nine minutes left. We only got a little bit more to cover, so let's cover it, guys. If you have any more questions, throw it out. All right. So events. All right. These events they keep changing the dates on us, but it's because of COVID. All right. So it's not it's not anything in their hands. So change the dates. Festival of Speed, two twenty one, Saint Petersburg. So February twenty first. Two days before my birthday, my birthday weekend, we'll have on that Sunday Festival of Speed in Vinoy Park, St. Petersburg. Um, so we're going to have a lot of great things out there, a lot of free giveaways. Titanets will be out there. We'll be out there rocking. So come out and visit us if you're in the area. Next one, Orlando. Festival of Speed got moved back to 314 from 124. So March 24th, we'll be in Orlando. Fingers crossed, COVID gone, or at least suppressed um we'll be out there rock and rolling risk carlton on their beautiful property with all the exotics tight medical center will be there in the house i'll be there with sharice big drew will be with us whole crew so we'll be out there getting some great content seeing people getting to talk with people and looking at some beautiful rides what's going on loud 42 how you doing man all right so weekly poll all right we love this weekly poll i love you guys interacting on this weekly poll so thank you guys this tank right here, I don't have any more. Uh, this was like, honestly, this is probably like two years ago. Um, I love my Titan stuff. What can I say? Uh, and I, I try to change it up a little bit. So I don't really get to wear things like this. And so at that point, I want to wear it today. I don't have any more of these available. But we have some other stuff available. So please check it out, all right? Uh, how many times a day do you hear WAP in the office when Big Meech is there? Uh, they know Big None. I don't let that get played in our office. No way. No way. My patients, we, we, we got a respectable practice here. So at that point, we don't we don't let that kind of music play. Uh, now, listen, the club, go do what you need to do. But here, this is not, definitely not the club. So, uh, yeah, we have some good music, but not that music. All right, so weekly poll. Interact with us on this weekly poll. If you guys are not signed up to the newsletter, you guys need to sign up. It's real easy to do. All you have to do is pull out your phone, text the number, 22828 and the word Titan Medical. After that, you're going to get the response. Do you want to sign up for the newsletter? Press yes. You guys are going to be entered in the newsletter. You guys will get it every week. We send out one time to you guys. It has a therapy of the week, you know, kind of some things about the therapy of the week, information wise, all our events, discounts, right? Other things that we got going on. So you guys definitely want to check it out. It's great, right? It gets better every time, I promise. So, weekly poll was this. Yes, Dan, I still got the fish tank. I still got it. You want it? Come on. I'll cut you a deal on it. Let's do it. <laughs> for sure. It's good seeing you, Dan, for sure. Um, all right. So do you need help reaching your health and fitness and New Year's resolution goals? All right. So 90% of people said yes, but what can Titan do to help? 
Really? So these are people that get the newsletter that are already on there. 90% said yes. So we can help you guys out in a number of different ways if you guys are on here and you guys answer that poll. And by this, I mean from every way, shape, and form. You want to look better. You want to feel better. You want to perform better. Tight Medical Center can help you do that. So we can do it through a number of different therapies that we offer, just depending on some of your health history, your goals, and we want to get you to there the healthiest way as possible. So call or text us, 727-389-3220. And if you guys want to start a therapy package real quick, that new year, new you, new Titan therapy package would be a great way to start. All right? All right, so the next one is, is... No, I'm fine, thank you, at 9%. So not, not too many people, you know, on there don't need our help. So I guess the majority of people do need our help. Um, and then the last 1% was no, but can Titan still help? Of course. So those people fall in line with answer number one. So all you guys out there, spread the good word of Titan. If you guys want to get on the Cardello, Right? Giveaway with Titan Medical Center. Go to our post on our page on Instagram. You guys can enter in, follow the directions. If you guys want any help, yes, Loud42, we do service Illinois for HRT or any of our different services, blood work or however you want. Um, we can help you out. Not a problem. Just call or text us at 727-389-3220. Um, so at that point, you'll be good to go. Any more questions on here? If not, I am going to sign out. I appreciate all you guys tuning in, all you guys interacting, all the questions. If you guys have any more, listen, I'm going to be on live with Big Drew, Titan Lifestyle Friday, a two-week comeback. Three-week comeback? Two-week comeback? It's been, it's been like two weeks. Third week that we're... This, uh, yeah, two-week comeback. Yeah. So after two weeks, we're coming back strong. So I'm sure Drew is going to have all kinds of pent-up energy for you guys. Um, and a lot of things to talk about. But if you guys have any other questions... You guys can call and talk to us about that, all right? Um, or we're just going to be covering great, you know, issues out there lifestyle-wise. You guys are going to love to interact with us about. So 2 p.m. Friday, I'll see you there. Sunday, our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show, 11 a.m. here in Florida. Or if you miss it and you're not here in Florida, you can always watch it on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page. Titan Medical Center, that's all you got to look up. Somebody asked me the other day, we're going to look up Titan Medical Center on YouTube. Titan Medical Center. That's it, all right? And you can do that on Facebook too as well. All right, so one more question, and I'm out. All right, so Mr. Beefcake, thinking about ordering the Hercules Potion. Mr. Beefcake, I would definitely recommend that therapy for you, and I would recommend that to most of our patients that come here. Uh, it's great for recovery. It's great for an overall pump. Precursor to nitric oxide, as far as arginine, now citrulline in there, vasodilators, creating more blood flow, Create more oxygen to muscles. Another thing in there, ornithine, let you do more strenuous workout, more activity. Uh, you can spot inject it, specific sites, or you can take it in your deltoid or any other muscle. It works systemically through the body too as well. Uh, it's definitely one of our biggest, most popular, I think, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies that we have. I personally use it every day before training. Um, I don't like to train without it. It's probably the best one. So at that point, if you have any more questions, please call or text 727-389-3220. The girls can sign you up or get your, uh, you know, your information to send you out the new patient paperwork. You can also go online to our website and get that paperwork too as well. Guys, I love you. Thank you. And if you don't want to see me on these things, you guys can always listen to our podcast, wherever podcasts are downloaded. Just look for Titan Medical Center or the Titan Lifestyle. All right? Titan Medical Lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. So at that point, you guys are good to go. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Let's get this week going and almost over. All right, guys. I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll see you Friday with Drew. Later, guys.